minor mental mistakes, but for the most part, I feel like I threw some good balls and made some right decisions. Just got to clean it up. You're the only one of the three quarterbacks with experience in indoor football before. How much is that going to help you? Uh, it's, it's helped me a little bit, but uh, it's also kind of made me my learning curve a little different because the game is, is kind of different than the AFL. But the AFL only has one receiver in motion, and they don't use a running back at all. So it's a lot more passing and a lot of different coverages, but I feel like a lot of the athletes are actually kind of better. What about the other two? Can you appraise the other two quarterbacks for us? Uh, Darren is full of energy. Like he a fun guy in the lot in the meetings and off the field and everything. And then Nathan is kind of like he be quiet, he come out of nowhere to joke. So that's the best part about both of them. They're real easy to get along with, and we all communicate well with each other. And obviously, they both can throw the ball. I mean, nobody be here if we can't throw the ball. Coach said that there's three quarterbacks, but probably only two roster spots for quarterbacks. I'm sure you're aware of that. What about the competition for those jobs? Uh, I mean, I came in knowing the situation. You know, I just. I wanted to give myself an opportunity to show what I could do and whatever decisions coach make, you know, obviously you have to deal with them, but I'm going to put my best foot forward every day as long as I'm able to come back to practice. Why did you choose Portland? I mean, I live here, obviously, you know, my brother's here, I have my son here, and I feel like it's a new team and I can put my, get my foot in the door to make an uh, impression and a name for myself, so that's why I decided to stay here. How much do you enjoy the game or how much is it a job for you? I mean, I love football, you know, obviously everybody want to work, but it's a blessing to be able to play football and have it be a job and be able to get paid for it. So I didn't play last year and playing, not playing last year gave me the opportunity to realize how much of a blessing it is to be able to do it and not be able to do it. So I'm happy either way as long as I can play. And what's the biggest adjustment going from outdoors to indoors? Timing, space, and anticipation, like knowing where the ball needs to go before play even happens is the biggest thing in space. And you got to be pretty accurate, though. Oh, yeah. No room for error unless you got some of them guys we got jumping in the air. <laughs> then you got a little room for error. <laughs> Can you tell in this training camp already the difference in the caliber of players, the talent level, from where you played prior? Um, I feel like it's more of the mentality than the caliber. Like, I won't down the guys I played with before, but I definitely think these, especially interior guys, like like these are, are pros, you know, like guys who, who really mentally are focused and zoned in and, and they take charge and, and they voice their opinions to me as often. You know, usually a lot of people, they don't say nothing to the quarterback. If they want something a certain way, they're going to let you know so we all can be comfortable with each other. And that's, that's one of the things you got to appreciate so you don't be in the air about what they want and what people like. So that's the biggest difference. Okay. Thanks, Houston. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Good luck to you.